Right, welcome to the first Inside of the Dragons. Here we have the one and only Captain Corey Hill. Welcome to the first episode, leading from the front of always, Corey. Um, past 12 months, been a hectic one for you. Uh, you've been in the Wales squad, Lions squad, now you're the captain of the Dragons. How's things going for you? Yeah, obviously it's been a good year. Um, starting this time last year, got called up to the Welsh squad, which is a massive achievement for me and the club and proud moment for family and stuff. So yeah, that was an um, unexpected call-up, really. It was exactly this time last year. It's obviously come up on Facebook and Twitter and stuff where people are posting pictures. So yeah, it's a nice little reminder. Yeah, so we have been a hectic year. Um, it's been a good year, a um, challenging one, and really good experiences, like you said, in the summer. Having the call-up to go and um, I suppose train along, less, alongside all the Lions and stuff was really good. And then learned a lot off a lot of their boys and coaches and trying to bring experiences back, which is another good thing. And like you said, this year, yeah, leading on to um, getting named captain of the Dragons, which is another proud, proud moment for me and a great achievement and following on from what Lewis did last year. So, yeah, it's an um, exciting, exciting challenge and hopefully we'll have a good season and we've got a good group of boys and we can do exciting things with a new, new venture. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, you've um, sort of learned a lot of being in like, different international camps and stuff. So what kind of skipper do you see yourself to be? A uh, guy talking or sort of leading from the front? Yeah, a bit of everything. Really. I like to be be one of the boys and get on with everyone and try and make everyone feel really welcome and try and speak to even like the youngsters, try and speak to the youngsters, try to bring them through and then obviously being friendly with everyone really and being being a bit of a character amongst the boys. And yeah, you try and lead lead when you're on the pitch, but I see myself as um, quite loud and quite, um, well, just just being a character, really. So yeah. I think to trying to lead and having fun times, but also serious when you need to be. Yeah. Like, obviously, you need to speak up in, in meetings and in pre-match and get the boys up for it and stuff. So, yeah, I um I like to think I lead by example the way you play as well, but I think it's about having the balance and doing a bit of everything, really. Well, what I want the fans to know is what does Corey Hill get up to on his days off, on his weekends off, to switch off from rugby and uh, get away from things? Well, um, it was a big joke last year when I first got in the autumn about my um, lifestyle off, off the pitch. Uh, I think a few of the fans know that I like to have a lot of downtime and I play, play pool and darts down the, down the local. But yeah, I got a uh, big group of friends, probably about 20 of us are really close and we, um, we play pool on a Tuesday and Thursday night and the missus is not too happy with that. But yeah. Um, yeah, I have done for a while. But yeah, it's nice just to get out the, get out the training and get out the rugby and just totally switch off and enjoy yourself and just have a, have a bit of downtime do other things really. Um, I heard like obviously you, you like a bit of golf, um, but chatting to a few of the boys, uh, they said you're they were questioning why you spend so much on a golf pair of golf clubs when your handicap's uh, a bit high at the moment, but I don't know if you want to comment on this. But Well, I've um, recently gone to golf, yeah, wrong time of the year because the winter's coming out, but um, yeah, I've been having a few lessons and, and the, a bit of a bet with the instructor. If I could get up to 18, I'd buy a new set of golf sticks off him, so... I had a round with him uh, a few weeks back, and I don't know how, but I, I played out of my skin, and he was like, right, you've got to buy a new set of clubs, so <laughs> I uh, sort of stuck to the deal, and yeah. even though I'm not 18 handicap, I don't know why, but yeah, I obviously need clubs a little bit longer than what I would normally, so the clubs I was playing with are inch and a half short, so I just do my back in, but uh, yeah. Sorted that all out now. Brand new set of clubs, but no improvement. Oh, it'll come, it'll come. Well, we're throwing out to, to Twitter um, some social media questions that have come in for you today. Um, we've got one from at Ruck and Scrum. What value does the team place on the 16th man, so the Dragons faithful? And also he asked, when are you going to pop up to the Dragons official supporters club clubhouse to have a pint after one of the games? Um, just to answer that one, um, I'm sh I think they're in the Burnett suite today above the change room, so I will pop up the next home game and socialise with the fans and have a beer with them. And yeah, it's massive for us. This year we've... we've um, Put out there, we want to make the home home a bit of a fortress and uh, get it back to where it was. So yeah, I think we slowly do now. We've had a couple of good home wins and um, really making it somewhere we were proud of and making it our home. And yeah, the fans have been fantastic this season so far, and hopefully they can keep on coming out in numbers and keep on backing us the way they are. Uh, we've got another one here from um, at Paul Williams, uh, who's from the rugby world. Um, he just wants to know. Has playing on the new surface altered the way you play your game? Well, if we um, revisit the Ospreys derby last year where it was 
a swimming pool and an absolutely uh, mud fight. So I guess and so yeah, they look at the pitch now is immaculate and it's absolutely beautiful to play on and you can play some decent rugby and running rugby, which is what we train for. So yeah, that's good. Stretch those long legs a few times then. Well, you'd find me on the wing more more this season than you would last season. Nice one. At Jay Thomas. Uh, he says, is it true Luke Garrett is the only player who can kick the ball high enough for you to practice your kickoffs? Well, I know um, Garrett's been murdering Gavin Ensign's diet, but I don't think he's quite Gavin Ensign. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't know what I want, though. No. Are you on the Gavin Ensign diet as well? Yeah, turkey burgers in the morning, um, turkey burgers for dinner, and then turkey burgers for the tea as well, yeah. so No rice cakes so, then, is there? Uh, no, off the rice cakes no. at the minute. <laughs> Uh, and then finally from uh, Twitter, we've got one from at Pauli6, uh, taking it back a little bit for you. Did you enjoy sleeping on the floor while playing at Mosley? Mike Power, ah, right. Yeah, apart from when we had to share lifts. Well, me and Reese obviously played for Mo- uh, Buckley, played for Mosley together, and we used to stay in a few of the boys' houses. Funny enough, Ollie Robinson playing for the Blues now. It was um, his house. So, yeah, we used to bunk up because Pauli's too tight to pay for a hotel room, really, on a Thursday. So, when we started sharing lifts, we used to... Um, Three of us used to camp on his living room floor for the night. So, yeah, it was a bit of an experience, but, yeah, enjoyed it as well. I had to do the hard times for the good times. Yeah. Hard or soft? Hard. Favourite hobby? Pool. Worst purchase? A new golf clubs. Favourite holiday destination? New Zealand. Who would play you in a movie? Brad Pitt. Favourite song? Eagle Eye Cherry, Save Tonight. Sweet or savoury? Sweet. It's tough questions, these, aren't they, for yeah. you? This. <laughs> what is the one thing that annoys you the most? Uh, Elliot D. <laughs> Funniest player in the Dragon Squad? Um, Luke Garrett. Any season ambitions? Um, playoffs with the Dragons. Brilliant, Corey. Thanks very much for your time and uh, well, good weekend.